Hi! So today I'm going to teach you how to make a custom nameplate. In order to make this a bit simpler, we're actually going to be working off of the default nameplate. Now, since I already have a custom nameplate, to make this even simpler, I'll simply hop into this Furigen over here instead, and we'll be working with him. Alright, so now that I'm in the avatar, you can see I now have a default nameplate. I simply look up, select it, open my context menu and go to open inspector. Then in here, I can simply go one up, grab the name badge, drag it into my avatar, grab the icon badges, drag it into my avatar, live indicator, put it into the avatar. Now once it's in here, I'll make a parent for the name badge. And then drag the icon badges into here and the live indicator into here. Now, the important part here is that there is actually something that happens when you equip an avatar usually with your name badge, which is that this user field here gets filled out and this user field here gets filled out. This exists on the name badge part, the icon badge part, and the life indicator. So now what we have to do is we have to go to our name badge parent, go to attach component, users, common avatar systems, and in here we have the avatar user reference assigner. Now what this does is that once the avatar is equipped, it will write a user reference to every slot that is referenced here, or if it's in blacklist mode, it'll do it to everything that isn't referenced here that it can detect at least. Now, let's hook this up. So first, this bag here, then this here. The way you do it is you just grab a reference, hover over a slot, and then just press trigger. Then we go to the icon badges, same thing again, put the bag in here, and get the target user for the position at user. Next, live indicator, put the bag in here, and put the target user in there. All right, so now this is going to make it so that our nameplate is going to be positioned properly, even after we get back into the avatar, despite it being custom now. Next, let's say, for example, we want to shorten my name because Protoflux is a bit long. So we just go onto here, all the way to the top, and on the name badge, and on text renderer, we actually see here, there's my name. Now, by default, there's also a little bold tag here. We'll keep that, so we'll get rid of the no parse, and then we'll simply remove the proto part, because I am a proto, and just flux. And there you go, now it just says Flux. However, what you have to be careful about is that there is actually a component down here, which is called the Avatar Name Tag Assigner, which defines what is a name tag, which will actually write to the text of the text manager when you equip the avatar. So you'll have to actually unassign this. Otherwise, your name will be overwritten with your actual account name every single time you equip the avatar. Now, if you want to give it a fancy color, you have to then also unhook color targets and outline targets, as they would normally be writing the default color to your nameplate, depending on whether you're a team member of Yellow Dogma Studios, whether you're a moderator, whether you're a mentor, and so on. Moderators, for example, have, I think, blue nameplates, while mentors have green nameplates, and so on. Next, we just need to find where the actual material is, and there it already is, text on the material. It's also on the name badge, where we can then simply change the tint color. Let's make this be a nice blue, like this. Make it a bit lighter, like that. And then let's give it an outline color and make that a nice purple, like this. And as you can see, the nameplate 
now has a nice blue and purple hue to it. Now, once you've done this, you can simply close the inspectors, open your dashboard, and simply click on Save Avatar. And now that your avatar is saved, if you were to, for example, hop out of it, and hop back into it. Oh no, why did it reset? Well, very simply, because of the way that we have just done it, if you actually hop out of it and hop back into it immediately, it's going to reset. Which is why it's very important that you actually save the avatar first. If you don't save the avatar first and you hop out and you hop back in, it's going to delete all of your progress. However, if I go to my saved version and click Equip, you'll now see that I actually have the custom name. Now, if we wanted a different font, for example, and an example will spawn out this here, which is Crikey Squad, we'll once more reach up, inspect the name, open it up in the inspector again, here we're on the name badge again, and on the text renderer again, we actually have a field here for the font. So we'd literally just grab this and then just click with our trigger onto the font, sh font here. And now, as you can see, I have a different font. Once again, same way, just save your avatar. And now it's going to be saved. Now, to make sure that this avatar is also the one you load into, you'll have to click the avatar once and then click set avatar, which will make it pink, and you'll actually equip it. There's currently no way to actually have a different default nameplate for all your avatars. So currently you will have, if you have used multiple avatars, to actually add this custom nameplate onto every single one of these avatars. However, luckily that is very simple. The way you do it is you spawn out that avatar you want to move it onto. You select the avatar, open in the inspector, that just got stolen. Go all the way to the top. We're back at the root of our avatar. We grab the name badge parent here. Move it over onto this avatar. And ideally, you'd make sure that both avatars are the exact same scale. So if this is 1-1, one, one, this should also be 1-1. One, one. And then just reset the rotation and the position. Close the inspector. Click onto this avatar. Equip it. And if we look over here now, you'll actually see that I still have the avatar uh, nameplate equipped. And, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. There's not much more to it. Let me just hop back into my actual avatar. Now, if you have any suggestions for what I should cover next, drop it down in the comments. Leave a like if you liked it. And I hope you enjoyed the video and watch the next one. Bye!